Hey friends, how you doing? It's Justin Showers, the principal broker here at Home Basics Real Estate. Hope you're having an awesome summer. Of course, this is Pioneer Day weekend, which is always a lot of fun. Now, not to spoil your mood or spoil your fun, you will be receiving fairly quickly, all of us that own properties, a notice in the mail from the county. It's your tax assessed valuation. It's what they're proposing uh, to base your taxes on. That value that they've got in that piece of paper may shock you a little bit and that's what we're going to discuss today. First of all, many people who haven't owned a home for very long assume that that bill comes from the county and that they should take out their checkbook and pay that. Don't do that. Remember, in most cases, the taxes are being escrowed aside every month. And uh, so when the county wants their money, they send the bill uh, to your lender and the lender flushes that money on the escrow accounts and then pays that. Uh, so you definitely don't want to pay those. Those of us who have been around the block for a little while understand that if the tax evaluation goes up from the county, then your lender has to charge you a little bit more. In other words, it raises your monthly payment. And so that's why it's really important to take a look at your tax valuation. Now, over many years, uh, we have always helped people fight their taxes. In some cases, we're very successful. I remember, for example, in 2005, 2006, when the market was really going up, the assessor's office was super busy. They were trying to get to every property and everybody's valuations were going up. I also remember in 2008, 9, and 10, when values were starting to slide so much. And so uh, that's really when we were helping a lot of clients because the values had gone down and we had fresh comparables that would tell us that it's a lot less than the county thinks that your home is worth. So now we're, we've kind of been in a good market for the last few years. So we haven't had as many requests, but I'll tell you, as I look at all the properties that we have in our portfolio, there's always some that really concern me. The nice thing is that Utah County generally is very fair to us, and they're also very easy to work with. So along with your tax evaluation, the notice that you get in the mail over the next couple of weeks, are some instructions on how to appeal that. And the process is pretty simple, really. Uh, it uh, involves, in many cases, contacting a broker like us that can provide some fresh comparables to you uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, help you through that process. Now, we can pull comps on a home that show a wide range of possibilities when it comes to values. And we can generally tell you within just a few minutes if you have a case or not, if it's worth your time. Now, if, if, if it's, you know, if your tax value comes at 400 and, you know, we might make a case for 390 probably not worth your time. But if there's a fairly significant difference that we think we can make, uh, it's definitely worth it. You really just fill out the form and provide the comparables. Sometimes the county will respond to you and say, this is what we're proposing, and you can go from there. If you still are not satisfied, you can always arrange a face-to-face -face meeting with a representative of the county down there at the courthouse in Provo, or wherever you might be, and you can go down and talk about your values. Now, sometimes they have, and most of the times, they have an active realtor, somebody that's really been involved in the community for a lot of years. So they have a realtor's point of view in terms of value, you have a county assessor's representative, and you have to go in there and kind of make the case. For some that might be intimidating, it's actually a really casual environment, and I've really found that going through that process has yielded, uh, yielded a lot of benefit for us and our portfolio. So that might be something you uh, you should be willing to do. So uh, again, not intimidating. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, some people have questions, well, I just bought the property uh, for 350 a year ago, and now they've got me assessed at 390. Well, uh, that's a pretty easy thing to do. You just take in your closing disclosure or perhaps even a copy of the appraisal that you had. We hope you find this information helpful and timely. Feel free to pass it along to anybody that you know. Uh, this is important information. You should start to receive those uh, letters over the next couple of weeks. Jared and I are here to help. Don't hesitate to give us a call. We're very liberal and generous with our time. We definitely want to help you make a difference in your life any way that we possibly can. And as you know, we love referrals. So if you know of anybody that's looking to buy real estate or sell real estate here in Utah or really anywhere, please give us a call. We love referrals. That's how our business survives. And as many of you know, we also have a property management company. If you're looking to build a real estate portfolio and you need someone to manage the day-to-day -day operations of a rental property so that you don't have to deal with it, please let us know. We would love to help you any way that we can. Have an awesome weekend.